G'day guys, it's JB with JB Adventures. Welcome back to another weekly video. Super excited to bring today's video to you guys. This is our first instalment of our new series, Australian Outback Road Trip, episode one, Roma to Longridge. So over the course of the next few months, we are going through three states, Queensland, through Northern Territory, and out to the WA. Going through places like Alice Springs and Uluru, heading up to Wolf Creek Crater, because we're insane, and then out to the Kimberleys, and then High Talonet all the way back. I hope you guys enjoy. Judd's Lagoon. <laughs> so Judd's Lagoon is what? Nearly fell over. <laughs> Judd's Lagoon is located in Uliba, which is about 200 k's west of Dolby. So Judd's Lagoon is the campsite we found on Wiki Camps. We'll link it in the description below. It's absolutely free to stay here. You can stay out. You can stay here for up to 72 hours, and it is dog friendly. And check it out. It is absolutely beautiful. So I just thought I'd go for a walk and show you guys the facilities here at the campsite. So here we have the toilet. It's relatively clean and it does usually always have toilet paper. You leave a state school, containers for change. Chuck all your empty cans and bottles in here. And then you leave a state school, comes and collects it. And firewood, nine bucks a bag. Just across is our campsite. Alrighty guys, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning now. I'm going to go wake James up and we'll crack into the day. See you soon. So we're about 50 k's outside Orgathella and we blew a tyre on the caravan. On the road again. 
Okay guys, so as you just seen, we had a tire blowout on the highway there. Just pulled up in Augathella at a campsite called Two Ponds. So we're gonna sit here for a bit, cool it down, maybe have a bit of lunch. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna camp here tonight. We're gonna call Dunlop in Blackhall tomorrow and arrange another tire and then swing through there and pick it up. So for now, we're just sort of having a bit of a break. Might make some lunch. Yeah, that was fun. I'll keep you updated. So one final ingredient, once those onions are nice and hot, just to keep everyone in a good mood, we're going to caramelise them and a little bit of this. If you never put beer on your onions, you're missing out. The good old iron jack does the trick for me. Plus, you don't need the whole beer for the onions. And it's important to stay rehydrated when you're on the road. So let's get into that. So we decided to camp here for the night. We'll head up to North Augathella camp tomorrow. Now uh, the kids had a bit of a nap before and the sun's starting to go down. So we're gonna get cracking into a campfire, see if we can get rid of some of these mosquitoes. But I tell you what, the sunset at the moment, absolutely awesome. Check it out. Rightio guys, so we picked up our tyre from Blackhall, the blokes at Dunlop there hooked us up real quick, took about 15 minutes to fit the tyre. We've headed north, we're up at Barkledine at the moment, there's a free camp just around the corner. I'm thinking we might stay there tonight because it's getting a bit overcast and it looks like we're going to get a bit of rain. But Barkledine's only about 100k away from Longridge, so we should hit up Longridge early tomorrow morning. So, it's taken a couple of days extra, but we'll get there. Righto guys, so plans have changed. We've left Barkledine and headed a little bit further west towards Longridge. We're camping at an old school tennis court area here. It's got toilets and a water hookup, so we'll be fine for the night. It's about 30 kilometers out of Longridge in a place called Ilfracombe. I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it. I've got it wrong about three times now, so that one is gonna have to do. It's an awesome little spot really, there's no one else here and as you can see it is so much sunnier than what it was back at Barkledine. The kids have just gone down for a nap so myself and Emma are going to get in and do a little bit of computer work, which is all the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't have to see. Uh, still heading into Longridge early tomorrow morning, can't wait to show you guys that, there's some awesome stuff in Longridge. So until then, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, so we're here at the Qantas Founders Museum and the Stockman's Hall of Fame, located on the main drag just when you come into Longridge. Let's go check them out. Now admission into the museum starts at $30 for adults, but if you are wanting to take the air park tour as well, the tickets start at $67 for adults. Now there are a bunch of packages you can pay for depending if you are wanting to take a certain experience or have a certain tour here at the park but I highly recommend you check out the Qantas Founders Museum website all the prices will be listed. Admission into the Stockmen's Hall of Fame Museum starts at $35 for adults and experiences start at $68 for adults but I highly recommend you check out that website as well all the prices will be listed and it is a great museum to check out. Righto guys, so Longridge is a super RV friendly town. Just as you're coming into town here from the western side, you'll come up to a roundabout. On the left hand side of the roundabout is the main drag of town, takes you straight into the town centre. If you keep following that around and go through the roundabout, staying on the Lansborough Highway, you're going to come up to a Caltex. And on the right hand side, just here, 
is caravan parking. There's also a water refill point there as well as a dump point for the caravans and RVs. Super handy, it's a short walk from there just across the road and then you're straight into the center of town right up near the pub. The Caltex just in front of us here is also usually the cheapest for fuel. Obviously fuel prices vary but out of the couple of fuel stations in Long Ridge that one seems to be the cheapest every time we come through here. Just swing a right at the train track here and it pulls you into the RV and caravan parking. Super easy to get in and out of here, it's just a big circle around and their dump point is at the end. And so that's the refill point on the other side for the water. So here we are at the Thompson River. It does come up on the map as it is a point of interest here in Long Ridge. Got awesome fishing and awesome bird watching. So you can camp here as well, but you do have to purchase a vehicle permit. So it's about $5 a vehicle per night or $27 a vehicle per seven nights. Got stuck. Rightio guys, so you might have seen them if you've headed out west or anywhere out in Australia when you get out to the wards of those country towns is these blue trees right behind me here. These blue trees are to bring awareness to mental health out in our country locations. So if you've ever drove past one and wondered what it is, that's what that is. Righto guys, as you just seen we pulled up into camp, we were supposed to head out and show you guys the sunset at an awesome lookout about 50k east of Longridge. Unfortunately we've had a bit of a problem with our solar, it's not charging our fridge and recharging our battery so I'm going to have to take a look at that in a second. So solar is all sorted, I've just hooked up the generator to recharge that battery back up so we're good for the next leg of the trip. We're going to stay here for a couple of days um, and then straight back on the road and head up to Mount Isa. But if you guys do come up this way, I urge you to go check out that lookout. I'll throw a couple of pictures in here for you so you can see it because the sunset there would be awesome. But until next time, I'll see you out there. Righto guys, so Chan, uh, fuck. Righto guys, so Chan just, ugh, that's not words. Good start. And headed over to Ilfracombe? What's it called? Ilfracombe? Is it Ilfracombe? It's Ilfracombe. 